All right, today is a critical day for advocates who want to start a public defender's office in Travis County, which is one of the largest counties in the country that doesn't have one. And they have to convince just one judge in the county that this is the best route. But right now, the judges are not convinced. We've told you about this before. When a defendant can't afford an attorney, Travis County assigns private lawyers and then pays them a flat rate. Opponents say the system fails the defendants who lose cases at a far higher rate than people who pay their own attorneys. The county has to send a letter to state commission by mid-March to get grant funding to start a public defender's office. And again, they need just one judge's signature. But the county's judges all got together and agreed to vote together majority rules and right now they're saying no. So the county's working group is now trying to salvage that today. If members though can't find a fix before March 11th, any attempt to start a new office would have to wait until next year. Chris Davis has been following up on this issue for us and Chris, the latest snag is no help to law students at UT who are hoping to start careers in public defense. Yeah, that's right, John and Jackie. Some of those students have been coming here to keep an eye on some of these discussions around Travis County's possible uh, future public defender's office. Now those students are starting a new student organization to help their classmates who want to become public defenders. They meet for the first time tomorrow, and some of them tell me they would love to stay and work right here in Austin, but they can't. Everyone here that wants to do public defense knows that their path is outside of this city. Logan Wexler's path starts in Albuquerque when he graduates law school in May. The Houston native would like to stay here, but there's no public defender's office. The group of people that want to be public defenders at UT is starting small, but it's growing. Professor Jennifer Lauren has seen that too, just in the last three years. I think that they're being exposed to a lot of these issues much more in undergraduate classes. Students are coming into law school ready to fight for clients who can't afford a lawyer. This just happened today, in fact, who are coming to me and saying, I'm excited about the class. I want to be a public defender. Second year law student David Whitney is one of them. He won't be staying in Texas either. There's just no way for me to do the work that I want to do here. That work is fixing what he calls serious problems with how low income defendants move through the system. I think what's what's happening in our criminal justice system um, is one of the greatest civil rights crises in American society right now. This is our generation's civil rights movement. It's going to happen inside of the courtroom. It's not going to happen on the buses. It's a shared passion in the new group with interest from around three dozen students. They're banding together to fight what they see as the next good fight. Now, one of the reasons these students say a group like this is necessary is because there just aren't a lot of resources available for uh, law students who want to take this public defender path. Law students who want to go into a more traditional private practice know what that path looks like. Not so for these students. So really they plan to share resources and information about public defenders offices around the country to help one another in this career. We'll send it back to you.